all welcome to the scripting wi-fi pen testing tools in python series at pen tester academy now in this video we will look at how to go ahead and search for client probes in the air with scapy now why are client probes important so if you go back to the wi-fi security videos what you would probably figure is that this is the very first step in attacking the client that is figuring out the networks the clients are probing for and then creating honey pots with the same SSIDs. Now it is important however to note that every client might probe for multiple SSIDs. Hence just like in previous cases uh, unfortunately we cannot use the client Mac uh, and go ahead and use that as a unique criteria. So let's go ahead and actually write the code. I'm going to call this clients.py client probes.py Let's import sys. Let's import scapy. Mm -hmm. Let's call this client probes and make this a set. Let's define our packet handler. Gets the packet as input. Let's sniff the air. Great. Now the very first test of course is to ensure that this is an actual probe request packet. So let's open up Wireshark, quickly look at how probe request packets look like. So let me enable my Wi-Fi as well. We seem to be getting a ton of probe requests as you can see. Let me just select one of them. Let's say no hotel, right? Now, if you notice there are a bunch of tagged parameters and the SSID in this case is a tagged parameter similar to what we saw in beacon frames. Right, cool. Um, let's go back. Let's actually run SKP and figure out the layer associated with probe requests. This seems to be dot eleven probe requests. Let's copy that. Go back. Now let's start writing our handler. Don't need the return. If packet has layer dot eleven probe request. On this case, let's try and use some of the shortcuts. Right now, if you go back to Wireshark address two is pretty much going to be the transmitter address or the MAC address of the client. And as the SSID is the very first tagged parameter, uh, the info would go ahead and give us the SSID. So let's do the following. If length of pkt.info, it's basically the length of the SSID is greater than zero. We don't want 
uh, null probe SSIDs. So we are removing that. Then now we have to go ahead and put in unique client SSID pairs, right? Because as we've seen, a client can send out probe requests for multiple SSIDs. At the very same time, we do not want that we end up showing the same client SSID pair again and again. So let's actually prepare a test case. And basically what this would be is just a simple concatenation of pkt.addr2 plus let's say three hyphens pkt.info. This should actually be the SSID the client is probing for. Now let's check if this is inside the client probe set, right? If test case not in client probes, which is great. Client probes dot add test case. Right, and let's also go ahead and print this new probe found. And let's concatenate pkt dot ADDR. Two. <clears throat> Let's see if there are any bugs. Okay, seems to be working fine. I think we just need a little spacing in there between both of these. Here is one small mistake. Ah, I think we're good. Test case is not there. Okay, looks good. So let's patiently wait for a couple of probes. Quickly generate them by searching for networks. This is our client and these are different networks it seems to be searching for. Now, maybe we also want a very simple table to be printed as well. And that table is created from our client probe set. So here is what we can do. Every time we add something new, let's also print the table. Client probes table. little bit of simple ASCII art in between <laughs> and here is what we're going to do let's go ahead and iterate through the entire set so for probe in client probes Client comma SSID equals probe dot split. I'm going to use the three hyphens in here. There we go. Print client SSID. Right, we can even have a little counter in here. Counter equals mm -hmm. uh, we just have a counter equals one in here. And 
just increment the counter. Okay, seems good. So if you notice there's one client added and a bunch of them were added in here right now. Fantastic. Right, if I kill this and go up, you would notice that every single time a new probe was found, the table was updated. We see one additional client here searching for this network as well. But now we have a beautiful little table. Uh, and if you notice, we've actually found 16 different SSIDs for which clients are probing around. Fantastic. So you're slowly observing that just with a couple of lines of Python, how much power you have in doing custom jobs. I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. And if you have, please do recommend Pentester Academy to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.